Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about what we had to do and why we had to increase this bridge weight capacity. Stay tuned. Well, we are originally going to put a modular home on the other side of the bridge. The other side meaning not the road side, but the other side of the water. And it's a 75 foot bridge, 75 foot long by 12 feet wide. And it's built using three steel beams underneath and they straddle a car. So a car does not run over a beam. That was one of our problems. The second problem was that the boards, when they were put on, they were four by sixes, but the depth was only the four inch or three and a half inch thickness, and it wasn't supportive enough to carry the weight of a crane, which is about 80,000 pounds. We started off by um, putting up these six by six, 10 foot long posts. So they went down, actually I think they might have been eight feet long. So they went down two feet and stuck up six feet. So uh, th those posts were gonna hold the wings, what I call the wings that lead from the end of the railing of the deck to the gate and all of that. Well, I'm gonna split this video up into sections cause it would be painfully long if I let it get long so I don't know three maybe four parts including the build of the gate and the installation of the gate so if you want to see this just subscribe and I'm gonna try and put it every week so it'll last three or four weeks so we're installing the posts to start with they're in cement and um, all lined up now we had to take into consideration the height of they're going to swing in toward the deck because the road tips up the driveway from the gate tips up to the road and would have hit so we wanted to swing those plus there's a big cement block on the side you can see it in the background there and that wouldn't have worked so they had to had to open in toward the uh, bridge itself so at a considerable expense, we hired an engineering company to let us know the condition of our bridge, the weight capacity, and what we would need to do to increase that weight capacity. Regardless, we decided not to go with modular. They just couldn't figure it out because it's all elevated. If it were a flat piece of land, that would be one thing, but it, it isn't. It's been, the foundation is chopped out of the side of a hill and they would have to oh, it was just a nightmare trying to figure out and they were like well we'll slide it across the cylinder your basement walls and we were like slide and I told the cement guy and he said no you can't slide anything on all of these 12 foot high cinder block walls can't do it so we ixnayed the idea on doing a um, modular home regardless the bridge capacity was only uh, for 8,000 pounds, not much. A truck can weigh 8,000 pounds. So we had to rethink this whole process. And they said, well, pull every board you got on there, all those four by six up and buy six by eights. Well, the six by eights cost $255 a piece. So I just decided that would be very cost prohibitive and didn't want to do that. So we asked him about buying more four by sixes and layering them on top. And we got 16 footers, four by six, and we, they were longer. So we extended the width of the bridge, it's still 75 feet, but now we just have a beefy bridge and um, that's working just fine for us. So to start with, we had to remove these, what we called runners. They went along the outside part of the bridge decking and held all the decking in place. So we had to remove those first in order to be able to put these new boards on top of the decking. And that's what they're doing now. And some of them were kind of stubborn. They didn't come out that well, so we had to sawzall off several of them. That one 
seems kind of stuck right there. But anyway, that that was the first part of this process. And there's the bridge kind of before they're working on pulling up those runners. The um, boards, the new boards, okay? were not yeah, yet delivered, awesome. but uh, they were coming later today. So this was in the morning, and there's he saw Zolling up that one, cutting it off because with a metal cutter because uh, they were just bad, just stuck on, on the, in there. And it, that, this was put on maybe three years ago, so not that long. Anyway, we got different kinds of screws, too, really ones, screws that were meant for decking that we bought from Lowe's. We bought this wood from Lowe's, too. So about mid-morning, I think it was about 11.30, we got the delivery from Lowe's of these 4x6 boards that are going to go on top of the other 4x6 boards. But uh, they were really heavy, about 90 pounds, the guy estimated a piece. But once we got that delivery in, they started adding them on top of the original boards. So we also bought, actually we bought like, I don't know, 1,250 screws. Every two feet, we screwed in these long screws. I think they're about five inches going through the three and a half and into the bottom boards, the original boards that were on the deck. The engineers approved this, so we were good with it. They said it would make it more stable. And in essence, getting the six by eight size that we were required to get. This strengthened our bridge from 8,000 to 60,000 pounds weight capacity, which really blew my mind. But it was the least expensive, most effective way to get this bridge up to a heavier weight capacity. So now we can put a cement truck across this. <laughs> Burn the old me together Finding you as a missing part 
So that was the end of part one where they laid down the new decking on the bridge. Part two is going to go into the details of how we made the railings. I cut up a lot of the, well, I cut up all of the four by four posts in half to a four foot uh, sections, chamfered the tops, and I also um, drilled holes. Oh, six or seven holes. I can't remember how many. All spaced apart evenly, I think um, five or six inches. And uh, then we ran cable through them, but we'll go into the details of that on the next video, part two. Please subscribe, please like, please join me in watching this series on building a bridge. Well, we didn't build the bridge, but we are strengthening the bridge from 8,000 pounds to 60,000 pounds. That's a huge increase. This is how we did it. The railing part is up next. Please join us. Thanks for watching.